very exciting for Vancouver. And you see the only way I can see it impacting is maybe we get to see some athletes around, get some inch like get to see some people that are on the international community from like different countries and get a two week reading week. Okay. So you think it's a good thing? Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Positive. Because there are some people that think it's gonna cause a lot of deficit. Mm -hmm. Hosting the Olympics is expensive and the government's having trouble financing that. So what do you think about that? Do you think that would still be a bad decision? Um, no, I think it's a good decision because it, like, in the past has created jobs. It will create jobs. Now, like, they had to build things. It's, like, I think it's a positive thing for the economy, even though there is some deficit. But I think the benefits of hosting such an international event will outweigh the costs of, the financial costs. Uh, I think it's a bad idea. Honestly, I think it's a ridiculous waste of money to host the Olympics, especially in Vancouver. We have so many other problems in the city alone, and um, the money we're putting for these Olympics and building all these places is taking away from the money we could be putting into developing the problems that we have in the city itself. Um, UBC-wise, I'm not really sure. I would say maybe like the students would get distracted. It, I mean, it like it creates jobs for a lot of the students yeah. for, for that period of time, which is nice. But and I guess like culture-wise, it's good. But um, I think the money that goes into it is quite a waste. And there's better ways that we could bring the world together than wasting all that money. Um, well, first, I mean, school gets shut down for the full week, and so it's disrupting classes. Students have to spend an extra week in school, can't go to work. You're gonna be if you're applying for a job. I don't know. I was thinking in terms of summer positions available to me, and I'm gonna be a week behind other students in the province that can continue going to class. But some people think that because of the Olympics, there be more opportunities to work. So that's better? Um, perhaps, but it would only be work for about two weeks. Or I guess the month because of the Paralympics as well. Oh. There's going to be, I mean, the Olympics go on for the full month. Yeah. And so the city is going to be busy that way. I think it's actually pretty awesome. I don't really have a problem with the Olympics. I think people, now that it's coming to Vancouver, we should probably just support it and try to enjoy it the best we can. Well, How it'll affect like UBC, it'll be busy. Some people think like that's causing a deficit actually. So like you know, like people are saying that it's not really tackling issues that need to be dealt with. For example, like just moving the homeless, you know, out of sight and it's as if like you're just pushing the problems away. So what do you think about that? Is that any how's the Olympics good then? In how's the Olympics good? People actually care about the homeless now. Mm -hmm. But by moving them away, that's not really helping them. Was anything gonna happen if the Olympics didn't come here? But the homeless have been saved, but they have built housing for them. Um, I'm not a fan of the Olympics, okay. and I think it's really going to affect transportation in the city. So I don't know what school's going to be like during those few weeks at UBC. It's going to be easy to get to UBC or not. Um, so it would just cause more disturbance and trouble. It, it wouldn't be as efficient as what they plan it to be, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty awful in the city in, in terms of like getting around. Well, but you know some other students are hopeful that you know they'll get more jobs because now the Olympics are here there are definitely going to be more jobs. More jobs? Yeah because you know there's a lot of service required to host the Olympics right? So they'll have some jobs for a few weeks for or a, few weeks, yeah. a little while beforehand but mm -hmm. um, no I think all in all it's it's a shitty deal. I think the Winter Olympics are a great opportunity for UBC to kind of build on its like, you know, already existing sports programs and I think that the more we can do to help our student athletes, that's great. At the same time, I think that, you know, we need to be really careful to make sure that whatever building is going on is done in an ecologically friendly way. I mean, we live in a pretty amazing piece of land here and we don't want to see it, you know, completely ruined just to build, you know, further infrastructure for, you know, a two week event. So the hope is that you know they can do this, and we can be supportive of our athletes, and at the same time be responsible to not only this land that we have the privilege to be on, but also to our planet as a whole. Okay, so overall, what do you think? Like, it would be good or bad? Well, I think it can be a great thing if we do it right, but that's a big that's a big if, you know. So do you know about the free speech zones? 
free speech zones. Uh, yeah. Are these the zones that have been specifically allocated and outside of those you're not supposed to do any like protesting or anything like that? Yeah. Is that yeah. what that is? Um, I had heard about that. I think that's a pretty big. Uh, I think that's a pretty big infringement on sort of human rights there. But yeah. which one should I sign? Yeah. Some students feel that way, but in light of the Olympics, would that help it or? Well, I think that the Olympics is an opportunity for us to you know, demonstrate our human rights and demonstrate our commitment to free speech and I don't think we should be trying to shut that down now of all times when the eyes of the entire world are on Vancouver. So you're thinking that the free speech zone is limiting it to a space, right? Well, I, that's, what I, I, that's what I understand it to be is the free speech zone is just a space yeah. in which people can only, that's the only space in which people are supposed to yeah. be able to do any kind of protesting or anything like that. I think that sets a really bad precedent because why not imply that? Like, why not apply that all the time? Yeah. Right? Why not just have you know 365 days a year free speech zones that are out in the middle of the woods where nobody can see them? Right? I mean, a free speech is not something that you can put in a box. It's either you have it or you don't, and we need to be sure that we continue to have it because if we don't, then we've lost it forever. That's kind of a farce that there needs to be a designated zone for you to be able to speak your mind. Okay, but you know, there are some people that might find that more effective because now that there are zones established that people would know where to go, where activists could go, and then, you know, speak out and say that they disagree with having hosting the Olympics. Um, but activists are pretty good at organizing themselves anyway, and so they would know where the best place to go to um, protest is in order to get media attention. So having a free speech zone, I would imagine you're going to get um, certain media avoiding it altogether because they want to portray the Olympics in a certain way. So I think, I don't know if it really benefits activists. Okay. I think you have free speech regardless. And just because you have a zone to speak up, maybe it will provide an opportunity for more people to hear you. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that it means that free speech wasn't available before that. Okay. And in regards to establishing these zones, how, how do you think that would work to the Olympics? Because like some people are not really satisfied with hosting the Olympics, so therefore, do you think these free, so, uh, free speech zones would come to any use? Um, I'm not an activist, but activists in the city, I'm sure, will use them. Okay. And. Uh, I can't see how it would hurt. Okay. I think it's just the only reason they created these spots is because there's such a huge, um, huge student or a huge uh, student like body. student body or is it what is it called? Speech zone? Well, not yeah, even just a zone. student body. There's such a huge body of uh, like a movement that is against the Olympics in mm -hmm. general that they felt that they needed this, or else it would be all over the place and it would be messed. Like I don't think it's taking away from free speech at all because you can there's like petitions and protests going on everywhere so I think it's just the fact that there's such a huge um, movement against it that they had to create these zones to keep it controlled.